Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a cage tour of Nibbles and Nuggets cage. Um, they're my day Nibbles and Nuggets, if you don't know. And um, some of you probably do know, but if this is the first video you've watched, Nibbles and Nuggets are my male um, one-year-old day goose who I've had since last year in May. They've been here about a year, but they are definitely one years old and their birthday is on Valentine's Day. Go check out some other... Um, they good videos I did in the past because there'll be some other facts you can find out about nibbles and nuggets and some facts about daegu so yeah firstly we're going to start off with um, this hay rack which has um, some lovely refreshing I should say fresh hay hey did you just try and fix that at the camera that was so naughty you better not do it again you hear me hello hello so yeah that's their hair rack, and um, I, I, I clean them out every Sunday unless I've got something to do on, sa on Sunday. So my nan will usually clean them out, but I clean them out. I will. I can't do a full video on cleaning them out because it takes a long time, and I'm only allowed to video for at least 13 or 14 minutes because if I don't video for 15, then it won't let me upload it. So that's where the hair rack is. It used to be up here actually. Um, but we had to move it because it finding it hard to drink their water. I've given them fresh water this morning, don't worry. And um, yeah, so that is their hair rack. It's green and there's hooks in the side to hook it on and I have to give them a fresh. You probably see some cardboard bits because sometimes they sit in here and uh, do stuff in it. So yeah, let's move on to one of their new toys actually. We just got uh, in the half term, I think, yeah. Or on, on the weekend, not this week, but... Uh, some weekend. Anyway, this is the um, special red uh, tube. They go from here and it goes all the way through. They've borrowed a bit in it, but that's okay. And then they go all the way through there. If they go on the rope, they can also go through the hole um, in the top there and get in. They almost did it, but they didn't because they saw me coming to give them a treat, so they stopped doing it. Um, I, do, I do want them to do it, but yeah, it's quite new and they have to get used to it. And they've had it for quite a long time actually, so they're, they're going in it now and then and they're sleeping in it. They're sleeping by it. Are you trying to dig? I've never actually got a clip of it digging. Excuse me, that's not for you to chew unless you want the hay. <laughs> you need to eat the hay. We have a second hay rack. We have a little red bow here, so cute. We, were, we had it for Christmas, but then we thought it was too cute. We have to keep it on. So, yeah. It's not Christmas yet, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the hay rack, a second hay rack, and it's a hang, hang one. So, they either go from here and eat it, or from the bottom, because it falls a lot, they just jump up and get it. Or from there, or from the rope. Sometimes they even sit in it. Nibbles, can you stop it, please? Can you stop it? Okay, good. So, um, we have the stairs again here, some logs. Oh, I got that quite a few years ago. No, not a few years ago. I got it a few months ago, sorry. Last year, I think, yeah. So, this is their log stairs, and they just uh, walk up the stairs. Sometimes they walk on the edge, and then they, they jump, and then they usually land on here, and then walk up. Or they'll just walk up the stairs. It's really funny to watch them. They have their water bottle here, and it's uh, held on by this round hook that's hooked on and then it goes into the cage they can drink it there's loads of hay here which is probably from their hay rack which we did have on there then we had to move it because we realized so that's their stairs under here we don't always oh it's sorry, it turned it upside down but anyway it should be sitting upwards sorry uh, it's upside down right now but you think i think you can get the idea of how it's supposed to be And uh, they go in it, they put hay in it, they've knocked it over. And the other side, around here, we have their little log bridge. But you can turn it into houses, you can turn it into stairs, you can turn it into tunnels, bridges. Yeah, so this is their log house. You can just go right through there or sleep in it. They don't usually sleep in it, but they can get in it. That's what it looks like from here. We have their uh, long blue, black and white rope, which they love going on so much. We also have the uh, wheel that they run on quite a lot. I haven't seen them go on it for quite a few days, which is a bit different. But I'm keeping an eye on it. They have been on it at least uh, quite a lot of times today. But they, they don't always they don't always just play on the wheel. They also play around in their cage when they want to, as you can see. Put some ropes there. Have I done the house? Yes, I don't think so. I don't know. I th yeah, I haven't done it. Um, 
because their house is a bit messy right now. But then they go in it. They don't usually sleep in it, but they burrow in it and they hide things. Like they start digging, they'll put their treat down, and they'll push all the stuff on. They're quite intelligent, though. I don't know. Oh, the treat. Um, so yeah, they sleep in it. And there's a picture, or there's a calf's chinchilla on it, which was already on it when we got it. There's a little bell. It doesn't really work. Um, the bell lost, but it still kind of rattles a bit. I've got two shelves, they've got loads of hay and uh, that's what their cage looks like so far, there's a bone. We have a little um, shelf, you think you can see where they've been gnawing it, oops, can you see where they've been gnawing that? Yep, anyway let's move on a bit. We have their uh, bowl which says Munch and that's not their name so it would be a really cute name for a Daegu. Munch is just a... Uh, on the carved on the bowl and then we have daegu nuggets on top we also have other toys up here like their other two week, week, week which you could extend out really far we have their two traveling cages and though now if they start fighting we separate them but if seen like if there's like blood and everything which there has been um but we didn't have to separate them for it so yeah we got two when i take them into the play area that i take them into because they're not allowed out the cage yet um, I bring this one and they go in it and then I also have the other one which we use for cleaning them out We are going to get a much bigger version of this because I saw in the shops a huge version I think that would be way better, but then we also saw a hamster cage which we think would be really good uh, as a um, little gift It's really big they'll enjoy it if we have to take them anywhere they have a wheel Even though it's a hamster cage It's um, not suitable for them, but it is suitable for a, a Daegu cage and it's quite it's a Syrian hamster cage, it's quite big. It's got a like a wheel like this, probably even bigger. It's got a little food bowl and they should hopefully go in it if they want to. Hello. Then well we don't usually have it up there, but we have this dust bath which goes uh, down here. We just move this along a bit near the stairs and we can fit it here. But then they have another potty training um like bowl here and they, they either roll in it or they do little poops in it, which they're not fully trained yet. We ha we're not training them. We do it, we usually do it like once a year. I did it once last year. I'm probably doing it just for to, um, Saturday till Sunday next week. And then we're going to take it out because we, it's not really fair on them. I have to take it out anyway because I'm cleaning them out tomorrow. So, yeah. So, um, after they do some cage tour. We have this tree, but they didn't fit in it, and they're way too big. I think we got the wrong tube, and it was actually a um, dwarf or Syrian hamster tube, but um, we don't, haven't got Syrian hamsters yet, and we're not going to. We've got our cutie that's pulled this up. Okay. We have this sheet here, which we pull up so they don't make mess everywhere. And down here we have all their food and supplies. We have a dust dusting pound, there's their daiku nuggets. We've got their little ball, they do exercise in. I might, I think I've taken a video of that on one of my very, very first videos. So swipe down to what, to the very first, vi well, to one of the very first videos I've made, swipe up until you see uh, my daegu nibbles in the, the daegu ball, and daegu is spelled D-E-G-U, or my daegu nuggets in the daegu ball, yeah. We usually put both of them. I might do it in a minute, because they, they need a bit of exercise today. Oh, look, he's going on the wheel while we're sitting in it. Um, and we've got the bag of oats, which is used as their treats. And then we have this beautiful pattern curtain, which we love. And uh, we just pull it across a bit. Yeah, we just get it all correct. And uh, it looks a little something like this. Very lovely, beautiful curtain. Looks really nice um, below their cage, I think. And yeah, so that is uh, the Daegu's cage tour. I'll give you one last look at the whole thing. I'll go very slowly. If you want to, you can pause this video, comment down, or you can comment at the end, or you can pause it just to have a look at all the things. I will go down, and I will get up so you can look at all the things that are in the cage, munch bowl. And that's over right, there. Go around here, see all the stuff there, the water bottle. There's the coconut house, and then we have the little log bridge. So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. Bye!